First into the den is 30-year-old Joe Maruzzi, a former painter and decorator from Surrey, who hung up his paintbrush 12 months ago when his small side business started to hit a bit of a sweet spot. Oh my giddy oh, arm. Lordy Lord. Painting and decorating was my trade. This took off so much, I had to give up painting and decorating overnight. I'm not a professionally trained businessman, you know, so they might be able to cut me down a little bit. They don't need to come in and pitch. I'm in. But hopefully they like me and they like the product. Hi, Dragons. My name's Joe Maruzzi. I'm the founder of Please Cakes. I'm here today to raise £50,000 for a 5% stake in my company. I launched Please Cakes last January with the intention of making a bit of extra cash on the side of my painting and decorating company. Since then, I've amassed over 110,000 followers across my social media platforms, attracting a long list of celebrity clients and fans working with some highly reputable companies and brands. There are various branches to Please Cakes, the first being fully customised no-bake cheesecakes, where the consumer can order online choosing six different size cakes. Second branch is our Build Your Own Cheesecake Bar, where the customer comes up to the bar, chooses various bases, fillings and exciting toppings and walks away with it ready to eat. I'd like to now invite you up to Build Your Own Cheesecake. I was hoping this pitch would be quick. Yeah. You want to get up there? Yep, absolutely. The Dragons make a charge for the Cheesecake Bar as Joe Maruzzi dishes out some samples of his product. You've got an Oreo base with meringue and freeze-dried strawberries. Yeah. You've got a double chocolate base with popping candy and fudge and white chocolate drops. Wow, is this what heaven looks like? I hope so. He's asking for £50,000. Oh, sorry, I'd ladies first. Yeah. So what, what, where's Actually, forget the cheesy... that. Can I, get, can I get the Oreo, please? In return for a 5% slice of his no-bake cheesecake company. And what's this one at the front? That is chocolate hazelnut. Oh, that sounds lovely. Peter Jones will be first to quiz the painter-turned-patissier. Just, I'll ask you some questions in a minute. Do you mind? No, it's fine. Enjoy. Take your time. Well, in a little while, anyway. It's good. Oh. This is right up my... I love this sort of stuff. <laughs> you said something that was pretty impressive. You've got 110,000 followers already. How did that happen? So I've never been in this sector at all. Obviously, no background in this. I've never done a cake decorating course. I've been to catering college. So I've completely self-taught. And I've never spent a penny on marketing or PR yet. But people have been attracted to it. It's, it's sort of snowballed with regards to sort of celebrity fans and followings. We've done a cake for the Queen. So the Queen has had one of these cakes? Yeah, it had to go through like a whole security process. Wow. We had to get clearance with our van to get it sent to Clarence House. Amazing. So, yeah. And who makes them now for you? Because you don't make this all yourself, do you? Yes, it's myself, and I've brought on a couple of pastry chefs as well who help me. And my mum actually is the delivery driver at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your mum delivering for I've you? I've got my mum delivering for me, yeah. There's an air of bonhomie in the den as the entrepreneur reveals a family business that calls in on the Queen with mum in the driver's seat. Isn't it amazing? Tej Lalvani now wants to find out about the pricing of the product. Hi, Joe. Hi, that's me. So, can you give me the costings of those cakes, of how much it is to make? Yeah, absolutely. And then the selling price? Yeah. Our mini meat costs us 34p to make, sells at £3. Our small cake costs £14, retails at 48 Medium cake costs us £17, retails at 55 And our large cake costs us about £20. Retails at 75. Our average order would be between 70 and 100 pounds. Well, that's impressive. Well done. Thank you. Okay, so you've been going for just over 12 months. Yeah. So what have you turned over since you launched the business? First year, we turned over 160,000 pounds with a gross of 101, profit of 17. 17,000 net profit. Yes. Year two forecasts, we intend to turn over 398,000. Okay. With a gross of 289 and a net of 97. Of the £400,000 you plan to do this year, how much have you done so far? We've done 60,000. So half the year you've done 60,000 yeah. only. 
So that's a lot less than the 400,000 you've got to do. Asia. We haven't received investment, so obviously our capacity is very small. So obviously with investment, it's going to really help that hit that target. But still, to have that amount of sales and say you're going to do 400,000 pounds, that concerns me a little bit. Tej Lalvani discovers the entrepreneur's cheesecakes need to sell like hotcakes if he's going to hit his targets. But does Tuka Suleiman have a solution up his sleeve to make those forecasts feasible? Joe, I can see exactly what you need to do to grow the business. Yeah. The premises you're in now are how big? It's small. It's and I'm, small. I'm still using uh, domestic fridges and freezers, so right, I need to expand right. that. And I need sort of walk-in fridges and freezers. Yeah. So it's, it's very basic at the moment. So if somebody came along and said, look, there's a kitchen for you. Yeah. That would really help you with it. Absolutely. You know that I have an investment in the brownie business. I do, yeah. And they have a big kitchen. Yeah, OK. They've got capacity. OK. We'll see where this leads to. Yeah, absolutely. But already I'm running before I'm walking. Joe, first of all, I love it. But which bits of the business do you think you've got? Which bits do you think, actually, I worry about those bits because I'm not quite sure how that works? Being creative, creating new things is, is not a problem. It's probably my lack of knowledge in, in this industry, going into an industry that I haven't been into. That's sometimes a good thing, by the way. I think it has been, actually. I've been sort of quite, kind of fearless going into this. Yeah. You don't know what you can't do. You just that, get on exactly and do that. it. Exactly. Yeah. There's, there's sort of no limitations to what I can and can't do, yeah. And what about your cash flow? How's that working out? We've got a loan, a £10,000 loan, and an overdraft facility of £15,000. And are you using your overdraft? We're probably £10,000 in our overdraft at the moment. What about you? Have you put any money? Have you yeah, made... I've maxed out credit cards. I've done about 25 grand on my credit cards at the moment, and they're all maxed out at the moment. <laughs> Buying equipment and fridges and just the daily running of it, you know, so yeah, maxed out. The cakes taste great, they look fantastic, and I think you're quite backable. And I am tempted. It's just that you're in a situation right now where you really need to grow, and um, you've got a cash flow issue. So thinking hard on it, I'm just going to go with my gut. I'm going to have to decline. So I wish you the best. I'm not going to invest, uh, so I'm out. Tej Lalvani decides building Joe's company wouldn't be a piece of cake and ends his interest. Peter Jones was ready to invest before the entrepreneur even entered the den. But is he now willing to put his money where his mouth is? I like a little bit of cheesecake. Cheesecake is, I love it. And I love the fact that you've gone from a painting and decorating business and now you're a, you're a painter of cakes, basically. You're an artist. It's great to see this. I'm sitting here, though, and I have to go, actually, hang on. So, Peter, let's take away all of this nice stuff that my stomach is feeling because I've just eaten it. And then let's look at the business. Yeah. I think this is a great example of a really good product, but no barrier to entry whatsoever. I think this could be challenged. And that is a problem. So, Joe, I'm going to tell you that as much as I enjoyed the cake, it's not a business for me that I think I'm going to make a return. So for that reason, I'm out. Joe, let me tell you where I am. My biggest issue is the amount of cash you're going to need, which would drive me into making you an offer I would be uncomfortable with, and I'm darn sure you would, because I'd want too much of the business. OK. You have got a nice business there, but it's not one for me. So I won't be investing. I'm out. With three dragons out, Joe's pitch for some much-needed cash is in peril. Is Jenny Campbell willing to back the cake creator? 
So, I think, Joe, there was a quite a defining moment, actually, when the question was asked about what's your turnover so far this year, and you said 60,000, but you, you forecast you're going to do 400,000 by the end of the year. To achieve that, you're going to have to do six times as much as that in the second half of the year. And I know you're confident, but that's a massive uplift. In order for you to be able to do that, I think you need to go with someone who can help to get into a kitchen quickly. Yeah. And I can't offer you that at this moment in time, and others can. So I will wish you all the best and say I'm out. Joe's still-to-do list is too much for Jenny Campbell, and she declines the chance to invest. The entrepreneur's hopes now rest with Tuka Suleiman. Is he still sweet on the culinary enterprise? When you look at your accounts, yeah. you're up against the wall. And you're probably going to need more money. Yeah. I'll tell you where I stand. I like you. Thank you. So I'm going to make you an offer. However, you're going to need a lot of, lot of help. And that all comes with a price. I'm going to give you all of the money, but I want 35%. Tuka Suleiman fancies a piece of the action and tables a bid. But his demand of 35% of the company is seven times the 5% portion the entrepreneur wanted to give away. You want to go think about it? Yeah, no, no, no. Um, I came in here with sort of a, a ceiling that I'd, I'd, I'd released equity-wise. Um, and that was uh, not... Not, not quite near that, that offer, so... Yeah, but you can appreciate. There's a lot to be done, unfortunately. I've, I've come in here with a, with, a, with a figure that I want to stick to, and, um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd go up a little bit, obviously. Unfortunately, I'm not going to go down. Because it's going to take me and my team a lot of work. Yeah. Put you on the right track. I'd go up to 10%. That was my ceiling. So that, that's your best offer, is it? That, that is my best offer, yeah. Okay. I'm not going to invest in that, and I'm out. Thank you. Thanks, Joe. Joe stands his ground, and Tuka Suleiman retracts his offer. The cheesecake champion leaves the den without the £50,000 he was hoping for. It's intense in there, you know. They're very experienced business people, you know, and they pick holes in everything. So I learned a lot from that. I offered him a lifeline. At least you gave him an offer. Didn't get the investment but no regrets at all. I think that was just a great experience. Should we not take the cakes as he's left the den? <laughs> Which one would you like, Peter? I'll have all of them. <laughs> <laughs>